okay uh, so now let us check few of the operations which we can perform on the your uh, list okay so just a second there is not okay uh, yeah so we will just see like uh, how can we access items of your list and what is the negative index indexing in your list and then what how do you give your range of indexes in the list and few more concepts on the list okay uh, so initially we shall begin with like um, accessing of items before that so what is a list list is nothing but a collection uh, which is ordered and changeable and in python lists are written with a square brackets okay so that was about list so we have already seen like creation uh, of your list and printing the elements of them using your follow now what we shall do is we are gonna check like how do i access your how do i access your uh, list elements okay so we have already written a program over here right so i'll just try to access the elements of the same list so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna print uh, i'll just remove this element okay okay so i already have this list right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna print take up a print statement take up a print statement and then i'm gonna take list one right and among that list one which index do you i mean which index should it retrieve so if i give a second element okay so what what will it give me so when i run it five zero one and two the second element is nothing but the five so it is retrieved around five okay so that is how i retrieve the your uh, elements of the list now coming back to your ne next one that is negative indexing so what is negative indexing i can retrieve uh, the list with the help of by giving a negative index also now what happens when i give minus two okay i'll rerun it or else i'll give it as minus three so that uh, okay so i'll run it Okay. Type object is not subscriptable. I'll give it as your minus one. Okay. Run. Five. Okay. Then if I give two. Okay. See, negative indexing means beginning from the end minus 1 refers to the last item and minus 2 refers to the second last item okay so my uh, item is what now wait yeah i'll run it type print list okay list one it is right so run just check here minus 2 is nothing but last item is treated as minus 1 and second last is treated as minus 2 so the second last elements get retrieved this is this is how your negative indexing plays into things and now like what happens can i give a range of indexes in your python yes it is possible so how do i specify that those range of index indexes okay i can just do it in this particular form so that how is that so print right print and then uh list one okay list one and then in the square brackets i'm gonna specify the range of numbers okay so i'll just print them see here five six nine okay zero one it started with two three four up to five i mean n minus one so nine is there what if i give it as another exam number so just check 
but still it is giving it 9. This is nothing but it will start with 2, it will take 3, it will take 4, but 5 is not taken into consideration. Okay, you all know the range of numbers is 5 minus 1. So that is how you give the range of indexes. Okay, and uh, that was about your uh, range of indexes. And coming back to one more, what happens if I give a statement like uh, your print, okay, print and then list one okay then what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna write colon three okay so what happens over there just run so let's check there what has what has been done the three elements have been printed up right yes so what happens here so by leaving out the end value, the range will go to the end of the list. Okay, so that is how it works. Now coming back to another change item value. So how can I change the item value? So I can change it by specifying a indexes. For example, I want to make, I'll take up a list one. Okay, list one right list one and then i'll specify the index okay i'll specify the index and then what i'll do i'll just say it to be 100 okay then i'll just print it print list one okay now i'll just run this i'll just clear all these ones so that it is not confusing for you okay now i'll just run it just check the the first element this was your zeroth element this was your first element so first element is being replaced by your now i'll just take it okay yeah so first element is being replaced by 100 so this is how you change the item value in your python okay clear so that was one of the uh, I mean, operations which I can perform on your list okay now another I can uh, specify a range of negative indexes as well okay so how do I do that I can do it with the help of now let me consider your list one right your list one so I'll just print it print and then list one list one okay square brackets then i'll give it as your minus four till minus one minus four till minus one and then close it so when i run it so what is happening over there five six nine get printed out so this was your minus one minus two minus three minus four it started right minus 4 minus 5 and minus 6 so this is how your negative index work okay i hope the things are clear so so far we have discussed about your what is a list and how do you access the items that is nothing but by referring to the index number we are going to access the items and then we have spoken about your negative indexing and uh, we have also spoken about your range of indexes right and then we have spoken about your uh, change item value okay how do you change an item value and uh, we have also discussed about uh, like how do you look through a list okay we have already discussed it in our previous video so that was about your list and its operations and uh, in the further videos we will be discussing about various concepts of your unit 2 okay
so we shall continue with the next concepts in my next upcoming videos